Nobody likes expiration Friday, the dreaded third Friday of the month, the day of reckoning for our options. I personally don't like drama, so what I've done is I try to get the drama out before I enter into the trade. That's why I only use 1%. The more money I have on a trade, the more anxiousness I get. Even though I saw my position losing over the last month, our back's against the wall when it comes to that expiration day because we know there's nothing else to do. It's confirming it is a loss. We lose all hope because we know we lose the position. We do have a couple choices analyzing our positions right up into that expiration week or just make the plan early that you're going to accept whatever happens and you'll double down if needed. Let's look at these examples. Here's a scenario of that. AN, our first trade right here. Price went totally against us. We doubled down. Price came pretty close yesterday to our break even and pulled back a little bit. We still think this is going to fall off so it doesn't bother me to be assigned. But more so, I have this double down that's basically collected all of its profit, which means all of the profit from this trade covers the potential loss on this trade. So you see, we got into this trade around $8.30 to $5.20. Right now, the spread value is $9.45 to $4.20, meaning we're almost to our break even. So we can try to take a small loss of 25% and get out of this trade or wait for tomorrow and be assigned. As you can see, our second trade is working out nicely, which will give us all the reward that we want. So no matter what I do at this point, this trade is covered by the reward up here. So again, you could try to get out of the trade here capturing some of that loss, wait to be assigned and take price lower, capturing some of that loss, or just be assigned and close out very quickly, realizing you captured all of your profit up here for that other trade. Three decisions you can make. This trade, break even down here, it went above that protection call that we bought, so this would be 100% worthless. There's no money I could get out of this portion of the trade, but we still have about a month to go on this trade right here with the break even right here we think we have no problem closing this out for double profit to cover the losses that we had here same kind of scenario here's our break even price came right down to it and then shot up well shot up past our higher protective calls so there's nothing we could do about this side of the trade but we still have another month to go on this trade up here so we're going to wait and hopefully that one will make up for this loss bhvn we got in right here price went totally against us we got in again double down. Here's our break even, which was doing great until it wasn't. If I were to get assigned right here, wouldn't bother me because we broke the channel. Old support makes new resistance and I would hold those stock shares until price went lower, making back my profit on this trade here. If you weren't assigned here and if this trade closed out for hundred percent loss, it's okay. Cause I doubled down up here. I got plenty of time and I can ride this all the way out. And again, entered here, went higher, double down. And what do we have here? Head and shoulders pattern. What happens on a head and shoulders pattern? Rains box duplication goes down. So even if you were assigned the shares right here on Monday, wouldn't you assume that price would start selling off again next week, bringing you down to the lower strike price that you sold those shares at, turning this trade from a loss into a win? And how great would that be? Have a win here and then a double down win here. Here's one of those tricky ones. Got into the trade here. Our break even is right here. High probability being under our protective call and above the break even, this will be assigned. This could be a worry because if we were to make a head and shoulders pattern, it could take a couple days before going back down. So being so close to break even, maybe take a small loss of 50% because you know this double down's already working. Here we are again, got in here, price kept going higher. We got our double down. As you can see, we're a little bit above our break even and under our protective call. So this will probably be assigned. You could try to get out for a loss, keeping it around 50%, saving 40 to 50% of your money on this trade, which would be half a percent since you only used 1%. Maybe this becomes a full loss, which should be okay okay with you because you have a double down up here or you get assigned right here and as price falls off down to the lower strike price the position that you sold and that's why you're signed shorted shares of stocks you collect back that money that turns this into a winning trade and gives you the full amount of your double down ttd up against resistance Entered a trade there, started work out really nicely, then jumped up really high, so we doubled down. And this is where it's important to make sure you get into the right trade with the right break even, because how much better would it be if our break even was all the way up here instead of down here? This would have no problem being a winning trade. But since our strike price is a little bit lower than we are right now, with our protective call being higher than that, this is a likelihood that will be assigned. Being that price already broke through its support, this definitely seems bearish to me. So I would be okay holding this if I was assigned down to the lower strike price to have this being a winning 
money trade. And of course, our double down would obviously work. Or try to get out right now with a 50% or more loss, knowing that your double down is going to cover all of those losses. And again, up against support, we took a trade right there. Seemed like it was working out until it shot up here. So we got a double down. You can see we're already making profit on that. We're not quite below our break even, but being under our protective call means there's a high likelihood that will be assigned. Being so close to the break even, maybe you can get this at a 50% loss, saving some money, knowing that this will cover all of the losses from that first trade. Another trade tweak that you could do instead of using the alert expiration of four to six weeks, go ahead and extend out that time frame to six or eight weeks. With that longer time frame, it'll give you more time to let a big pattern like a head and shoulders take place and you're still able to close out for 100% profit. But no matter what you do, make sure that you only use 1% so you're able to have enough portfolio to double down at a higher strike price. These are way higher probabilities and they're the assurance that you need not to blow up your whole portfolio. There's lots of tweaks that you can make on this strategy. Based on results, write down journal, find out where price was, how long it took, how close you were to break even, and start analyzing these things to see, do you need to put down more time on the options? Do you need to make sure that you're only using 1% or make sure that you always have enough capital to be able to put down a double down trade? There's a thousand different things you have to check off and figure out in everybody's mind, everybody's portfolio, everybody's understanding is a little bit different. There's not this absolute perfect place to get in, not the perfect place to get out. Based on results, we have this thing called statistics. And so statistically, every adjustment that we make, we have to figure out what benefit we got out of that or what harm we got out of that. If we put down too much money on each trade, now you can't do a double down. And so anxiously, when you lose, it is too much for you. So then we have to tweak that. Only use 1% per trade. Make sure you have enough capital to double down or only take the double down trades. You can make as much money as you want. You just have to make sure you tweak your system accordingly to you and your beliefs in the way that you trade. Some of this takes learning experience. And so if you want a paper trade while adjusting your formula on how you're going to get in and out, then I suggest doing that. The time it takes to learn the skills of what you need to be able to make the best trades possible to grow your account. That's what we're all about is growing your account through wisdom, experience, knowledge, understanding. And there's so many different things to learn. Are we truly learning when we're thinking about the losses and all the emotion that's going with everything? Because we're losing money because we haven't learned all of these little tweaks and adjustments that are needed for our own personal portfolio. Give yourself some time to be wrong. I highly recommend that everybody be assigned on accident or on purpose. I showed an example of one of my trades in the assignment video where I was up 20% and I could have taken that profit off of the table. But instead, I allowed myself to be assigned and come Monday, I was down 20%. But that's 20% of 1% of my whole portfolio. Keep learning. You're gonna get 80% of the concept of this trading idea. But that last 20% is gonna take time and experience, allowing yourself to grow in revelation after understanding what happens, how it happens. Sometimes it's a little hard to explain. It's something you have to go through.